Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I want to welcome you to my page, to my channel. My name is Real Talk with Antia Duni. To all my subscribers, my returning subscribers, thank you for staying tuned. And for the new ones, I want to welcome you, especially for joining this channel. Trust me, you're on a roller coaster that you're going to enjoy. Um, I saw a video and uh, I want to warn you ahead because uh, I saw so much hatred being poured out from a mother to a daughter. And honestly, I can't wrap my head around it. But like a song says, in Yoruba singer song, sometimes ago, he said, and in, the person that has a mother cannot know the benefit of not having a mother. So if you say, ah, I love my mother, my mother is precious, this blah, 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 go and ask somebody who does not have a mother. Life, in, this life never balance, and it no go ever balance. Some have it so good, some have it so bad. And that is why when I say things like this, I want to share it to educate young parents, young mothers especially. This is a story of a woman who came out and the venom, the poison, the hatred she poured out in a speech of less than five minutes amazes, amazed me. Thank you as you joined me. If you have not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video as you are watching me. Thank you. So, as I did work my work on social media looking for topic to talk on, I saw this video about this woman raining courses on her daughter. And um, this is the woman. And I'm like, even though I didn't understand the language, the heading that I saw says a lot. Then I went to people's comments and I was hearing, I mean, reading what people are saying. Some supported her and some did not. And uh, I get to, I look for somebody who understands the language. It's an Igbo language. She's speaking in Igbo language, one of the languages we speak in Nigeria. So I look for somebody who understands, who, who can translate it to me. And she did. And I'm going to put it there for you to listen to. Let's listen to our Igbo version and we will listen to the translator version to understand together then we go on intended in the west in 2022 about 2023 one nation when you're married and then one more time what did they catch you did it okay and benson and do on you're not borrow me or bona what do you do what i'm not seeing a cake in that area when you're not only an hour and so on your mother on your yak and on your yak and mara oh but he had them a little a shit to be sick or when you're on your opera go Dikem di kerere papa gos pon wo dogu kebo chine ke nwa neke ne ginye meso nwa gini ne nke meso ro mi si si nyere nwe mu onya nwujire nya ka mujire nya okpa nfo wali agwa ko zo onya no ne nke pwem we kwosha chali si nyere iwo ji si nyere ji we ke ne si nyere ben si nyere judithi ben sene nduru okoye we bosi aye ne egwe onwe temele egwe ko obo obo nfo nwanya si nyere atupuru mo onu nya na die agbasha aba nfo nwanya otu oyime na abo one nanny a jaw mugo, Jesha mugo. Me men are bound, none and due to another balia. O well, potassia, no opulu di capuabala, no bromo mamulia. Manan de fuku no bosin ketta. O well, mung o wedge a bauco, a macata mwe bauco. A tune see a fue. Hey, she naked gospel. As one on Nike mukos wept. Nike goes with a wala nabo. She here at a catavo no, we are even we did go. Dibia gotaria, only the lavataria novel. Okwafor <laughs> As well, open a more shows, or she neck a man melee me, open a name with a shows, or she neck a dendo. Can not walk. She neck a yano lunya bog. Mongoke Mawanyana Panyelia, Mandili look at Delim, Okevama, by a walk, Kevamano Luvaca, Ajakaya Ganata. Now you own me, Mandi Dinalo, Mandizalava, and the Mandizalava, and the Macano Maduel, and Yeni, no Yamota. She neck a volia, Okiaman, where two hours when I remove again. One wears Nashian as an Okusirem, she Judithi. Ojuku, Pona, that's the new state. A Takatavo, eh? Ogre, I don't tell him when I had Jesus. Amen. If you want to acquire, then I had Jesus. To a tuna, she tajak. 
she never No be no. He have even Munande. She did he have even Munande. He have even Munande. Now had Jesus. We can now have Jaja. He has taken over. Now had Jesus in me. It's about this woman laying a curse on her daughter Chinyere. She said she gave birth to Chinyere. You know, she's just lamenting that I gave birth to Chinyere without her losing any limbs. I gave birth to her as a full child. And as soon as Chinyere got uh, graduated from the school, she did her traditional marriage. And after traditional marriage, she she forgot about her after three months. She just discarded her. She didn't, she stopped talking to her. Her husband stopped talking to her. That Chinye went ahead to do her white wedding. He did not invite her. Chinye went ahead to have two children. And each time she has she has a child, she will invite her auntie instead of her for the omugo. So her auntie, I mean Chinye's auntie, was the one that went for her um, omugo for the two children that she had. Chinye never invited her. She doesn't even know where Chinye lives in Enugu. That now she's laying a curse on Chinye if ever. If Chinye was ever breathed by her, if Chinye passed through her birth canal, if Chinye sucked her two breasts, that things will be hard for her. Things will be forever hard for her. That the sickness, that the thing that will happen to her, no, no dibia. That is, uh, no herbalist will be able to cure her. No pastor will be able to cure her. That pains will be her, will be with her all through her life. The pains will be with her all through her life, and that. Um, uh, now that she started having her own children, she will start feeling the pain of what she did to her. That Chinye will never know any peace for the evil that she did to her. Wow. You listen to Mama Chinye, or whatever her name is, God forbid somebody turns and have this kind of mother. God forbid, from the translator, I say God forbid again, bad thing. This woman said she took care of Chinyere. It's your responsibility as a mother to do that. You decided to have a child. She said after Chinyere finished school, after three months that she got married, Chinyere ran away from her. Doesn't communicate with her again. The husband does not communicate with her. Abba, Chinyere cannot be mad to just decide I don't want to tolerate this woman again. Something must have been happening and Chinyere was patiently waiting until she can be free totally. She mentioned that Chinyere, the two children she has, called her own sister, the mother's sister. That shows Chinyere has good relationship with the sister. The mother's sister, that is her auntie. That is the one that went to do the omugo for the two children. That says a lot. Uh, people, I don't know why in Africa... We have this mentality. If you understand what the Bible says, it says, can a child, a mother forget a suckling child? The Bible says yes. And the Bible says, if the mother should forsake his suckling child, God says, I will take that child up. That is, if you don't know, that says a lot. You as a mother, and you think you own the destiny of a child in your hand, you are deceiving yourself, oh. You are this. It's only African mothers. Let me do, limit it to Nigerian mothers that will do this and say, This is my breast. You saw the woman doing her breast like this. This is my breast. This is my womb. Why is it only Africans that all we know how to do is to curse and curse and curse your own child that you gave birth to? I'm Nazis parents. How come their children, when they fight their mothers, when you they fight, and then they fight their parents pass, and they will say, I vow never to talk to that woman again, and they will not talk to their mother again. And yet, nothing will happen to their lives. Why is it African parents that believe because a child passed through your body, the next thing you will use that your body to cause that child? In other words, how do you want a child to reconcile with this kind of mother? I don't know if I'm making sense, so... I don't know what Chinyere has done to warrant this cause. But if you listen according to the interpreter, she said it was after school, after she got married. So something must have been happening since when Chinyere was young. And maybe, in my own opinion, I may be wrong. And at a point, Chinyere could not handle it again. And Chinyere was like, I am done with this woman. And a mother, the next thing a mother wants to do 
is to ask somebody carry camera and begin to cause chinyiri. And you think because you have caused chinyiri, chinyiri will not have food to eat again. I beg, make in a park where? Make bad mothers park where? We are, we are, I'm a mother. My children, they offend me. What did that movement do to Chinyere? I don't know. I've, I, there was a time I treated a topic concerning this kind of topic in my, on my channel, on my page on Facebook, and some people called me, elderly people, cried on my shoulders on the phone that this is talking about the kind of experience they have with their biological mother. You will be shocked. But because it is our nature, we shut people from speaking out, especially when it comes to parents. You say, ah, it's an abomination. You don't talk about your parents, your mother like that. And a mother will be quick to stir up emotions. I'm not an emotional person anymore. I walk by reasoning, logical reasoning. Sentiments, I'm a mother. Sentiments cannot get me like that. The kind of love you give a child, kind of training you give a child, is coming back to you one day. Either good or bad. Because that child is an entity on his own. Yeah, that child came through your channel. You were a channel for that child to come to the world. Agreed. You carried the pregnancy, you decided to. You went through the labor pain, you decided to. It was your decision. That pain is on you not on that child. It is time we educate our mothers. Because the kind of upbringing some people do on their children, it is not upbringing, it is not training, it is not love, it is abuse. African parents, when you are looking for first degree abusers, it is African parents. In the name of training, we condemn our... We, Despite the training we are giving our children, when they come abroad, you will see on your both children, they are more disciplined than our children. Despite all the beating and everything we give to them. We feel on your both children are not respectful, but they are more respectful. They obey things easily because they are brought up in law. But an average, average African person, uh -uh, you must use whip. You must use bongbo. You think you have to use all that for the child to be okay, to learn and to, 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 to follow your training. And in this process, most African adults today are damaged right from childhood and they carry it into marriage. Anyone applauding this woman should pray to have this kind of a mother as a mother. Maybe you will know the pain of chinyere. No mother, no good mother does this i don't care whatever chinyere has done chinyere has no poison her right she first came out mm -mm. i always say the first people that run out they are always the guilty one who gave her phone who helped her to record now i did phone i did the recording put chinyere video i'm sure it's one of her children rivalry don't start for family be that that family can never be okay again if i were chinyere that cord, I would I will cut it. This woman has born bridge, the bridge of motherhood. This woman has born the bridge of mother that connects mother and the child together by doing this. Only God knows what she would have tried in secret that is not working, and she decided to do this. I don't know if I'm making sense as you are watching. How will you feel if you have this kind of mother and she does it to you? Please tell me. Let me not talk too much. Let me not feel like I'm being biased. I don't know what Chinyiri has done to this woman to warrant this. This is damn too much. African parents, they feel that because they gave back to you, your life must center around them. And that is why they involve, even in their son's marriage, they want to be involved in everything you do in your life till they go. Once when you both children become at a certain age, they let them be. Are they not doing well? Are they not doing good? Family, a mother, 
go this route with her own child? This is abomination. You want to know, you don't know what it is to have a bad mother. Mm -mm. You don't. If you have a bad mother, because I have tried to counsel a lot of people in their shoes. If you have a bad mother, you can lose your sanity. Because when you are telling people this is what your mother do, people will not be able to comprehend it. At the point, if you are not careful, they will think you are not okay. No mother does this, no matter what the child has done. You will think of that day you gave birth to that child. The smile. I don't know what has made this woman this will. Because what you don't know is that what women deal with is too much. Maybe the boyfriend she's been having or the husband she got married to has removed the knot in her head. And she feels chinyere. All that chinyere deserve is all this kind of cost. I beg, make her go sit down. Because I see some people, ah, chinyere, better go and beg this mother. How do you want to forgive this kind of mother? Even if you forgive, how do you want to forget this trauma? If you have no one issue, be careful how we judge it. Yes, you will say, okay, I'm judging the woman. Mm -mm. I know some things must have happened between them, but no mother does this. This is what I am saying. Mm -mm. Chinyere has not killed her now. If Chinyere is really a bad person, the way she's painting, painting her, then the sister, who is her, her sister, the mother's sister, who is Chinyere's auntie, should not be going to the Chinyere's house to be doing no mugo. For the first child, for the second child. Something is not hard enough. Good, she said it with her mouth. Why is Chinyere? Why will a child run away from the mother? If you don't know that Nancy's the mother exists, go and Google about them. I won't tell you what to do. If you are having such issues, just go and read about them. Nancy's the mothers and how to deal and relate with them. It will help you. Because I know a lot of people... I silently going through this, but they cannot talk because it is abomination. They say it's abomination to come out and talk about your mother in a bad light. But for some of you that are clapping for this woman, you are telling me it is okay for a woman, a mother, to come out and curse her child. Something is not hard enough. May you never be a bad mother to your children. May your children never be a bad children to you. No. And I want to believe by the time this woman will come out and talk, maybe she feels she suffered for Chinyere. Chinyere is not reciprocating back. And the next thing is that Chinyere should not have money to eat again. Chinyere's life should spoil. Pata, pata. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, but that is the way me I see it though. I don't know how you see this video. Please, your opinion is needed so that others can learn, so that we can all learn. Me, I'm a mother too. Me, I never be, I find myself in this situation. Ah, I guide against it. Anything that will make my child to see me as enemy, I guide against it. A child brought up in love is bound to reciprocate easily. Mm. I know there are some people that will be kind of selfish. It is not as if the child will not do, but it's the parent that will feel the child has not done enough. It's unfortunate that in African setting, Nigerian setting, parents don't prepare for their retirement that is why sometimes they feel and they vent their anger and frustration on their adult children they don't and for us that are educated this is an eye-opener for us our children are not our investments i mean they are not our i say child children are investments they are investment that you cannot reap the way you have invested that's what i mean Mm -mm. You, are, you are not giving back to them so that they can pay your bills. You give back to them because you love children. You do your parts. And of course, when the times come, if it's your adult, you do it in love. We have to make conscious effort to be sure we are not hurting our children and they are not sliding away from us. Because even my age group, I know somebody whose children here in America, they have turned to our enemy. Anyway, a word is enough for the wise. I don't know what you think. This is amazing. This is surprising. This is shocking and sickening to the bone.
for a mother to do this.